Hey everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. On this video we're going to be doing the assignment Taming a Desert. Elodin is an arid burning desert, but remnant technology could make conditions more livable for Milky Way species and the Angara. The key to doing so is the vault, which can be unearthed by activating the remnant monoliths scattered about the planet. Activate Elodin's monoliths, 0 out of 3. So we're actually pretty close to one at the moment. It's basically just outside. So we're in this cave. Well, not just outside, but we're fairly close. It's over there. Uh, so we'll go over to that forward station, get that activated, and then go to our first monolith. So outside. I detect multiple hostile life forms. Isabel could be in trouble. Let's move. Yeah, we already kind of dealt with that. There's that giant ship that crashed. Good thing we don't have to deal with remnant ships out in space. Probably wouldn't go well for us. Assuming they're hostile, which I assume they are. I detect above normal temperatures. Life support at 100%. Let's see, am I going the right way? Um, No, no I'm not. I need to go this way. I was going completely the wrong way. Alright, so the monolith is right there. And the forward station should be down that canyon. Let's see, somewhere around here. Or maybe not? Oh, nope, wrong again. Way over here. For a Pathfinder, I'm not very good at finding things. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Okay, that's another 2% viability up to 75. We got this terminal here. Uh, unencrypted transmission. Forward station network expanded. Scanning. Live transmission found. Known, new report, Nakmore Scout Rucka. Fighting at the Flophouse, probably over water. Some of them are trying to find another source out in the desert. Not bad of an idea, but a human in the desert, exposed, is going to need to consume more water to start with. So where's that leave them? Probably in a worse position. My guess is that most of them will be dead in a year. Then this entire planet's ours. More data needed. Additional forward station coordination required. Ongoing. Okay, over to that monolith. I detect above normal temperatures. Hey, Drax. It's looking rather yeah. dirty. Don't go dying anytime soon, okay? You got it. Okay, anybody over here to bother me? It's actually looking. Like there isn't. All right, straight shot into it. Ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. We'll get whatever mineral this is. We got some cadmium. So at each of these sites, I'm gonna have to scan glyphs, and then I think at two of them I have to do remnant Sudoku. One of them I don't. Let's see, console. I think one of them's up there. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. Okay, so one of them's up there. I could build one of those remnant pillar thingies, but I don't need it. I can just jump around that, although he didn't grab the edge. What are you doing, Ryder? There we go, much better. Alright, so here's one of them. That's gonna be a magnitude glyph, which I'm pretty sure we've seen before. Pretty sure we've seen all the glyphs. Here's another one. This is a Nihility Glyph, which I know we've seen, and then, where's our third one? Oh, I think it's over there. Yeah. Oh, let's see, how do I get to that one again? I'm pretty sure that jump is too far. Well, maybe, nope. Well, we'll just go up over here. Oop. Let's try that again. 
There we go. Verderous Glyph. Well, that one didn't need any Sudoku. So, let's fast travel. Where do we want to go from here? Oh, and there's a, a cache fairly close. Eh, I'll worry about that later. Um, let's see. We've got one way up there near that forward station, and we've also got one right next to that one. Um, let's go to the top one first. So, I, I guess this is probably the closest I'm going to get. So let's go here. Okay, off in this direction, and I believe there was a hidden cache on the way. Uh, well, it's over there. Yeah, we can go pick it up. Surprised I don't already have it. This is the remnant ship. But apparently, I didn't pick it up. Oh, and I couldn't make that. That's odd. It's not that steep. Hmm, what's going on here? Why are you being so cra- Oh, am I in the wrong mode? Ah, I was in the wrong mode. Well, that makes more sense. Let's see. Up there? Really? Oh, where am I? I just land on it? No, nope, apparently it's over here. Alright, am I blind? It's supposed to be right here. Uh, down. Ah, there it is. I'll take it. Moving on. Okay, Monolith is that way and on the way. Mm, not really on the way. Off in that direction. But I will go get this hidden cache and point it straight at it. May as well. Can't get over how much there is to learn out here. Cutting edge of remnant research. Is that no? Maybe it's a thousand years talking, but all this feels familiar Let's see where is this one probably up oh wait is that it uh, I think that's it uh, no oh Yes. That's it. Hey, Nomad, get back here. Okay, oh, look at the architect. Well, found the monolith. Uh, let's see. Forward station that way. Well, let's go to the forward station. Appears to be off in this direction. Oh god. Uh he's gonna pop out like right here, isn't he? Or maybe not. Looks like he was coming right at me. Oh, he's over there now. Wow, he's fast. Let's see, where the heck is this forward station? Well, apparently I'm going right at it. Oh, and I remember. It's so cool looking. Is that an architect? It might not be. It looks a little different. I don't know what that thing is. I keep calling it an architect, but it might not be. Anyways, I remember this one. It's at the very top. What's this? Just a regular container? We must go higher. Uh, 
and higher still. All right, cadmium, and there's our chest. And down to the nomad. I don't know if this is safe. Maybe right there. Perfect. Okay, forward station now. Oh, wrong mode again. Keep doing that. Right, forward station right here. Deploying forward station. Synergy achieved. Elodin sensor coverage complete. Geological and atmospheric profiles sync. Recording, recording. Geography updated. Known establishments within range New Tuchanka, Krogan, the Paradise, and Garin. Hostile factions, Nexus exiles, remnant constructs. Remnant signatures, mono monoliths, aircraft. Synchronicity achieved. Elodin sensor coverage complete. Viability index updated. Monitoring. So I believe that was the last forward station in the game. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the last one. So we're coming up on monolith number two. And this one. Yes, Drac? Just trying to come up with a nickname. Your name rhymes with Sightsee, Gutsy. PB's already a nickname. No shit. What's it short for? Pelisaria Basale. Ah, oh, PB it is. So I know this one has some remnant Sudoku. Better get my thinking cap on. I think I just saw some cadmium. Environment check. Yes, cadmium. Acceptable parameters. Okay, we've got glyphs to find, I believe. One's over there. Uh, I think it's on this short little piece. Yep. All right. Oh, back here. That is a stratospheric glyph. I'm not sure if I've had before, actually, but I'll assume I have. And then I think the other two are over here. Yep, here's one. That's an accretion glyph. And a hydrodynamic glyph. Alright, uh, this one's not too bad. Although it is the five ones. Uh, let's see, I can't solve for that yet. But I can solve this one, so let's do that. We want uh, that. And then this one has to be that symbol. That one has to be that symbol. Uh, that only leaves one here. That's got to be that one. Also, only one left here. It's got to be that. Only one left here. We've got that diamond-shaped one. Oh, uh, what else? Um, this one we can solve for. It's that one, which leaves the diamond for this one. Which leaves only one solution here. That one. Which leaves only one solution here, which is going to be one I just passed up. That one. Uh, let's see. We can solve this. It's that one. Which leaves only one solution there. That. One solution here. That one. Uh, right there. And... Right there. All right, success. Good one, Ryder. One to go, and this one's right next to that forward station in the south. Uh, I could have got that 
hidden cache, but whatever. Right here. Oh, I'm in combat. Apparently. Or maybe because the monolith was doing something? No, PB seems to be after something. Ow, this little guy. Okay. Situation handled. Uh, no, apparently not. What else we got? Who else is angry? Ah, this guy. Oh, two of them. Three of them. Uh, I can't charge him. Uh, I can shoot him, though. That's working. I charge you. There we go. Okay, we should be good now. No! What is going on? Now who wants to kill me? Anybody? Over here, maybe? No. Is it you? No, he seems cool. I don't know, maybe I just tried to travel too fast. Nope, still stuck in combat. What the heck? It's not that worm thing. Me and him are cool. Maybe it was that guy up here. Oh, wait. What are they fighting? Yeah, these guys. They just got pissed all of a sudden. I don't know why. Okay, can I please travel now? No. Dude, are you serious? What is going on? There's nothing here. Why is everything suddenly pissed off at me? They are. Why? They're like a mile away. Okay, well, we'll kill you guys too. Alright, where'd that dude go? There he goes. Okay, please. Now, maybe? All right, finally. Okay, let's see. Final monolith is right there. Pistol, PB. Why not something with more heft? I like to be light on my feet. But you got bionics. You can make me light on my feet. You're dangerous enough as it is, old man. So I know we've got a cache right here. Uh, it's kind of buried. It's right here. No, it's not buried. Just sort of blends in. And I guess we'll go back around this way. I detect above normal temperatures. Ambient temperature is normal. Pathfinder, I detect a dip in temperature ahead. The scavengers have set a dune camp. Okay, we got one of them up there. Make that two. And the third one's back there. Uh, now, I've never messed with these remnant pillars. Um, I haven't needed them. So I don't think I'll use them here, but I think that's how you're technically supposed to get up there. But instead, I just do this. And that works just as good. Alright, this one is a zero glyph. Think I can make that jump? Oh, maybe! Nice! This one is a synaptic glyph. And we also have a Symiosis Glyph. Can't remember if this requires Sudoku. Apparently not. Nice. Alright, well the vault's on. I can't see it, but it's on. So, let's head to the vault. It is... 
Right there, pretty close to this forward station. Uh, right over here. What's with the smudge over your eyes? Trying to be some kind of superhero? Why all the bones? Trying to be some kind of supervillain? Yes. Cool. Yeah, that's still really cool whenever they do that. I love that. All right, vault is open. Let's go do this. Got ammo and health. Didn't need either. Back here, we have a container. And let's see, right around here, ah, there it is, is a thing you can scan. An adaptive remnant core device. Right, let's see, how did this work again? All right, I need to go up there. It tells me and I'm blind. like there's a trick to this interface let's figure it out so apparently there's a trick of some sort um i just got lucky i picked the right most and that did something and then i picked this one and it worked so yeah i have no idea how that puzzle works i just guessed the first time i came in and it worked Let's beat up some assemblers. First, we need to stop the reactor and initiate the purification field. I love those heat seeking rounds. Just ridiculous. All right, this way. And looks like we got more remnant. We got a console here. I think those, that just switches those to be uh, damaging though. I don't want that. Let's get this nullifier. Buy out a combo, Nova. Couple shotgun shots, charge back in for another combo. And he's dead. So, uh, enemy? Mm, no. I don't even have to aim. I just shoot, and it just takes care of everything for me. Easy. A little too easy. Although those missed. Interesting. I think it's because it's moving to the side. Well, either way, still very effective. All right, so right here we want to get the. Um, I will highlight the ones you need. So right here we need to raise the pillars on the sides. Although this one didn't do what I wanted. 
There we go. So we'll jump out to here. We'll activate both of the consoles at the top of the side pillars, and then we'll be good. So activate that. We'll come back down. Oh, and don't forget to scan that down there for some more remnant research data. Okay, so those are now pointed towards the center. So I need to go back to these two original consoles and get those at the center as well. Okay, and that raises up that pillar and we can get across. And this will unlock the door. <gasps> Looks like we got some company. Oh, that's a turret, ow. Um, let's keep moving. Don't want that turret nailing me again. I don't see a console to take it over, but I'm pretty sure there is one. We'll just take cover right here. Good thing I've got lots of shielding. Because that could have ripped right through it. Well, let's just take it down. Oh, there's the console right next to it. Lovely. Turrets are a pain in the butt, but it's dead. Ah, Assembler survived. It's kind of beating me up. I will not stand for this. Oh, another one too. Okay, what do we got? We got some health, I'll take it. And this console will unlock the door. Well, that gets us a step closer. Okay, and these pillars popped up. I don't think there's anything else for me to grab over here. So we're moving on. Let's put the gun away. Okay, now we're going this way. Rabbit. Might need some ammo. Lay low or take them on. Uh, lay low or take them on. I don't know. Let's see. I think if I switch this console, those all turn friendly. But I lose the bridge, so let's um, let's keep the bridge. I don't really care if those are angry at me. Doesn't really matter. And let's see, I could uh, charge him up there. Man, I just tear through these guys now. They don't last very long anymore. Got another one over here. Let's get out of that bad. Shoot him from safety over here. He is down. I uh, got some more ammo. We got another thingy we can scan. I am invincible. And this console will activate the bridge that leads to the purification room. But we got other stuff to get first. We should be able to get to the purification console. Alright, I'm um, pretty sure we left some enemies around here. Uh, let's see, we got a assembler over there. Let's get him. Oh, there's a turret apparently. Let's get the safety.
There's that turret. Um, let's see, can I take control? Better do something. Ow! There will be none of that, observer. I got another observer right there. Blind fire, take him down. Alright, I'm getting this console. Oh, maybe not. It had other ideas. Let's see, get him dead. I would like to take over that turret. Let's see, let's bait and attack first. Actually, it's deactivated. Uh, okay. Well, let's just do it now. He's my friend! Alright, um, let's come over here. There should be a console. Here it is. Bet we can reach that if we poke around. Alright, and that makes a pillar right there. We can access that from, uh, that, I guess we'll call it a bridge over there. And nothing else. All right. Still some stuff this way, though. Watch out for that liquid. It kind of doesn't look like it's toxic. Just looks like water, but it will screw your health over. Right, so there's nothing over there. Let's go this way. Uh, is that another turret? Oh, that's the turret I took over. I'm smart. Very, very smart. Alright, up here we need to be careful. There's gonna be a destroyer. As well as some nullifiers. Now, I'm not sure if the destroyer activates from back here. So I can probably take down these nullifiers without pissing him off. The one thing I don't like about these heat-seeking shots is I can't really aim them. So, like, these guys with the shield, I just kind of have to shoot and pray. Because if they've got that shield up, I don't really have a way to avoid the shield. Alright, Destroyer is awakened. Let's see... I guess, oh god, move. Right, let him hit that. Um, let's use this console, it'll make these circles near me friendly. And let's get rid of those turrets as fast as we can. Although, once again, a little hard to aim with these heat seekers, but seems to be working really well. And <laughs> she's just tearing that turret right off. That's insane. Let's get them all on the other turret. I just gotta watch out for him charging the big shot, but he's not aiming it at me, so that's perfect. And I think we took that other turret down. Yep. This guy's just getting overwhelmed. He can't handle it. Oh! I ran out of uh, my shotgun. That's what happened. Alright, Trash just gonna take those shots. Oh! But not take them well. Let's pick him up. Alright, we need to take cover over here. They might hit that weak spot. Nope. I need ammo. Take that. Switch back to my shotgun. And finish this dude up. Oh, just tearing through that armor. Let's throw a... Uh, oh, I meant to throw a singularity. Alright, show me that weak spot. There it is. Dead. And that opens or reveals that console. Either way, I can go forward. And I know there's a container back uh, here. Let's put this away. Let's grab that container. I believe when I go down here, I'm going to get attacked by a bunch of remnant. But it's just assemblers, nothing big. 
Yep, there they are. Just three shots, that's all it took. Well, we got some observers. They're a little more dangerous. Right, who else we got? It's like two more. One more. Drak and PB just standing there, not helping. Alright, just an assembler. Okay, jump across. And jump up. Okay, I believe we got everything around here. And we need... Or no, that console is not what we need. We need this one. like there's a trick to this interface let's figure it out okay so uh, you need to activate these in the correct order I believe you start with this one yep you'll know it's correct when it sinks into the floor and then we have this one and then we skip this one I believe it's this one next And then this one. And then the one we skipped. Looks like that did it. Okay, and that reveals this console. And we've got a difficult Sudoku. So let's see, how did I do this before? Uh, I can't solve that yet. But I can solve that. Because I've got the three symbols there. That one's not one of the three, so that one, that just leaves one left. Which is that symbol. Which means that one has to be that. And then we can solve this one because this group of five has three of the five it can't be that symbol which means it has to be the other one which in this case is the diamond again which means that one is that symbol uh let's see from here what can we do can't solve that can't solve that um, can't solve that. Hmm. Let's see, what can I solve? Ah! I can solve this one right here. So, this, these two can't be that symbol. Same with that one. So, that means this one has to be. So, we've got that one down. Um, oh, and we can solve this one now or actually no we can't I lied what else uh, we can solve this one none of those can be that Y looking symbol so it's got to be right here which leaves only one solution for this right there uh, now what Um, hmm. This one is tough. What else could we solve here? Still can't. Oh, actually, can I solve for that? Nope, can't solve for that. Also, can't solve for that. Uh, can't solve for that. Yeah, I'm drawing blanks here. Okay, let's see. Let's take a different approach. Still can't solve for that. I'm looking for 
when I run out of approaches, what I do is just sort of draw lines across uh, diagonally and horizontally to see if I can remove any spaces to, to make solutions clear, which is how I got the, the Y one by just drawing a line straight down and going, oh, that leaves only one spot for that one. Um, but even that's kind of not working for me at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, I can't do it there. Ha! Huh. It's stumping me. Usually, don't have any problems with Sudoku. Uh, let's see, did we solve all of these symbols? I might... Be... Oh, I'm missing one in the center. Oh, I'm sure I could solve that, so it can't be that. It can't be that. And it can't be that. Alright, it's gotta be in the center. So that should help. And that's all of those symbols, so no more... Oh, actually, yeah, that's all of those, all five of them. So, from here, what can we do? We could solve that. Nope, can't solve that. Um, let's see, let's... Oh, diamond can't be there, can't be there, has to be here. Alright, that's gonna help immensely. Um, I can solve for that finally, because it can't be that symbol. And it can't be I, any of those three, so that leaves only one left. Which means this one over here has got to be that. And everything should sort of fall into place after that. You would think. Yep. So this one has to be... The diamond. Which means this one down here has got to be that one. This one we can solve for. It's got to be... The Y. Which means this one's got to be that diamond. That one has to be that symbol. This one's... Uh, the Y. Which means this one's that one. That one right there. And finally... Another Y. Alright, does that look good? Yep, I think we're good. Submit success. That's Just it. in time! Nice going. Alright, and that's gonna give me two skill points. Let's see, this opens up that door, but we can't get through. Pathfinder. We're blocked. That energy barrier will lift when you activate the purification field. So this vault has two uh secret caches, I guess you call them for when you lift the barrier. So normally you get one on the way out, but on this one you can get two. But if you do try to get both, you've got to be lightning fast. So hopefully I can do it. It took a lot of practice to just barely be able to pull it off once, so. I uh, will not be overly surprised if I die trying to do it again. Okay, so we got everything over there. All we have to do is get the uh, container up there and then we're off to the purification chamber oh and I don't think I got this on my map Remtech. bet we can grab it on the way back it's nothing really special in those but I still like grabbing them let's see I think we need another console maybe it's down there I need a console to raise another pillar. I don't remember where said console was. I thought it was over here. Is that it? Ah, here we go. That's gonna raise that one up. And jump to it. Oh, almost didn't make it. Alright, got the container. That believe we're all set. Oh, can't make it up there. I gotta go around this way. So we already built this bridge over here. You can see the doors open. 
You can see right into that purification chamber. I don't remember if there's enemies in here. There probably is. Actually, them. Oh, yep, there is. Now, did I ever scan a nullifier? Yeah, apparently, I did. Singularity charge. Right, one down. I love how it puts in nullifiers like they're some scary enemy and they're like one of the easiest in the game. They seem scary, but they really aren't. In combination with others, they can be pretty rough. Because they can knock you out of cover. But other than that, not really anything you have to worry about. And they go down easy enough. Hey, look at that, level 44. This console will activate the purification field. You may want to sweep the area. Before this place tries to kill us, you mean? I'm just doing a final sweep. I don't remember anything in here, but it's good to be careful. But yeah, I think that's it. So I'm going to activate... Oh, we got remains here. Going to activate it and run like crazy, or rather, biotic jump like crazy, because it seems to be slightly faster, and try to get both of these before I die. Wish me luck. Oh, that's going to screw me over. I don't know why I got caught up there. I don't think there's any way I'm going to make it. Jump over that. We're going right through this. Oh, I got caught up there too. I open that up. I'm going to still go with it, but I don't think I'm going to make it. Do the big jump there and make it. All right. Now we're going this way. Oh, got caught up again. All right, up here, jump, jump, jump. Oh, come on, what is going on with these controls? All right, up, biotic jump through, biotic jump up here. If I make this, it'll be a miracle. Still going though. So right here, we need to loot this quickly. Oh, I actually might do it. Oh, here comes the smoke. Use it. Oh, I made it. It's closing in on us. Move. Man, never gets less terrifying. Let's get out of here. Well, I have no idea how I made it because I had like a perfect run when I was practicing and just barely managed. And that one I had multiple mistakes. And it worked out just fine. And that trophy that popped up, that's for getting 100% viability on every single planet. And that's a gold trophy. Been working on that one for a long time. Finally got it. All right, and we got a new codex entry for Elodin. It says, The activated remnant vault has increased the presence of cloud-forming particulates in Elodin's sky. Though the moon is still brutally hot, moisture levels have noticeably risen increasing ambient humidity and the likelihood of rain. The Nexus scientists advise that the inhabitants of Elodin, once starved for water, should prepare for flash floods. Flash floods on Elodin, that would be weird. Okay, and uh, our assignment's completed. We got all those uh, monoliths activated and we got the vault up and running. So, we're all done here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.